A typical baseline oxygen saturation number at rest is about 96. When you start exercising on the system on pure oxygen during the first time O2 protocol, we usually expect your saturation to rise to say 98 to 100% saturation. But I would say in approximately one out of every 15 people, you know, depending on the demographics we're working with, will have a desaturation on positive oxygen like you experienced. In these people, we can see a desaturation on positive oxygen where their saturation numbers on the pulse oximeter will go all the way down to the low 90s, 80s, 70s, and sometimes even lower than that in really rare cases. And this can be very alarming at first. The simplest way to explain what's going on in your body is that there are areas of your body that are hypoxic, extremely low in oxygen. And this is, could have been building up potentially for years, usually due to some type of inflammation. As we introduce the oxygen-rich blood plasma into your circulatory system, those hypoxic tissues start to suck up oxygen so rapidly that it causes a desaturation reading at your hand because those organs or tissues are sucking oxygen so rapidly that the reading at your finger is actually low and can be low for several minutes during the entire session. You are paying back an oxygen debt that you might have been building up for years. It may take time to pay that debt back and reoxygenate those tissues. It is also possible that the desaturation is occurring because of improper installation or a malfunction in one of the components of the system. A poorly fitted mask, an improperly uh, seated mask valve, or a pulse oximeter that is worn incorrectly or with low battery can all contribute to a desaturation while breathing pure oxygen. I have created videos that you can watch that go over each one of these potential problems in detail in the mask video and the system install and setup video and the pulse oximeter video. I go over them in great depth, so please review them before proceeding with this protocol to be sure that your desaturation on positive oxygen is because of your physiology and not because of a malfunction or an improper setup. So to get into the protocol, simply repeat the first time O2 protocol, exercising on positive oxygen for the entire 15 minutes. Really listen to your body here. As long as you're not feeling lightheaded or dizzy, it's okay to continue exercising on positive oxygen, even if your pulse oximetry numbers are reading low. A typical pattern will be a desaturation right at the beginning of training into the low 90s, 80s, or even 70s, and then it may take every minute the pulse oximetry starts to tick up just a little bit as you're exercising on positive oxygen. And maybe towards the end of 15 minutes, it's come up maybe from you know, the 80s or 70s and it's moved up maybe you know, 10 or 15 points, but it's still lower than it should be. That would be a typical response. You can continue to just repeat this protocol over and over again. And what will typically happen is you're gonna desaturate less and your recovery is back up to 98 to 100% will start to come quicker and will even out that curve where eventually you'll just get on oxygen, it'll go to 98 to 100 immediately and you'll stay there for the entire 15 minutes. Um, so that's the simplest way to do it is just to repeat the first time O2 protocol multiple times. There's a second modification that you could do to this protocol as well, which is the same as the first one. You're gonna do the first time O2 protocol again for a full 15 minutes, but what you're gonna introduce is a sprint on positive oxygen for about 20 seconds. So after you've been exercising for a few minutes, you're nice and warmed up, you're just gonna give a, a sprint at about 80% of your maximal effort for about 20 seconds. And you can repeat this you know, two or three times during this session, but what this will do is as your heart starts pounding harder and your respiration is increased, it just speeds up this process. So where uh, you know, if you just exercise at the moderate pace, the same pace the entire time, it might take you three, four, five sessions to, to pay back that oxygen debt. By adding in the oxygen sprints, you know, you might get over that in one or two sessions. So that's the second uh, modifier you could do is add in two or three sprints for about 20 seconds on positive oxygen. So you'll sprint, take a recovery. As soon as you feel recovered enough, uh, to do it again, go ahead and repeat another 20 second sprint and you know, put them evenly during that 15 minute protocol. The third way that you can modify this is again, same structure, exercising on positive oxygen, 
you know, warm up for about five minutes. And then what you could do is you could do a hypoxic sprint. This can sometimes shock the system and fix the desaturation on oxygen problem. So what you'll do is you'll warm up for about five minutes, then you'll flip the adaptive contrast switch to the negative position and give about a 20 second sprint on altitude air. Now this will be challenging. You're gonna do it at about 80% effort. Um, and as soon as the 20 seconds are up, flip the switch back to positive oxygen and recover. Again, you can repeat this one or two more times if you feel comfortable with that and it doesn't feel too challenging. But this can also be a way to snap your body out of this and really speed up the paying back that, that debt that you built up over years. If after doing all three of these modifications and you're still desaturating on positive oxygen, I would definitely make an appointment with your training representative at LIVO2 for further instructions. Well, hopefully with the completion of this training and these protocol modifiers, you will have paid back your oxygen debt and are ready to proceed with the rest of the LIVO2 protocols.